Hello there, I'm Close Productions, this is my real voice, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Roblox. So, it's basically going to be a new series I'm going to be starting out, where I just tell the community a bunch of good facts that you could use for building. That just makes it easier. So today, we're going to be covering something that few people know how to do. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, not everybody knows it. If, you know, a certain amount know it. But still, some people are looking at, oh, for ways to find out how to do it. And if you're unfamiliar with wiring, it's one of the main tools in trying to use levers and switches and stuff like that. So today I'm going to be showing you the basics on how to make, you know, music and sound effects if you want to make a video using Roblox. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down in your toolbar which is this right here with all your um, tools that you can use and you want to go to number six which is your wiring tool automatically the speaker and um, boom box both light up as green while the switches light up as orange basically what this means is all orange items that have an orange box around them is what I mean is considered an input a green box around an object means it's an output so in order to connect this light switch to this boom box all you have to do is left click on the switch and all and you'll see this bar come towards your character then you're just going to want to drag it up to the boom box and hit the button right here that says pause play now if we hit the if we hit it music plays same goes for this one so we'll just take that plug it into the boom box hit this and it plays. Now we're going to get a little bit more in depth. So you don't want to be listening to this all day. So if you want to change up your music or volume, what you're going to want to do is you want to hit seven, tool number seven called the configure tool and these two items light up. This means that the objects can, can be configured so our settings can, can be changed. So if you hit the boom box you'll see this box come up called configuration. So from there, you can change your four genres of music if you want rock, if you want funk, if you want jazz, or if you want electronic. So in this case, we're just going to left click on the electronic, and we want it to be a little bit loud. So, sorry if it's too loud in the video, so I'm just going to type in 1. You can't go any higher than 1, it's either 0 0.5 or anything around 0, and then you go into the 1 and it stops there. So now that we have that down, you're just going to hit OK hit the button and as you can see we have different music now now if you even want to get more in depth with your music what you want to do is you're going to want to import the speaker which is this tool right here which can be found in the wiring section of your um, snapper tool so it's this one right here called the speaker you want to want to pull out your um, configuration tool just hit it and this one is a little bit different. You can see a bunch of random numbers and all this other stuff. Still, we have the option to change the volume, which is pretty much a preset for anything that you have dealing with some volume. But then you have this thing called Sound ID. So what this is is every music file on Roblox has a Sound ID, and that's usually the ID that comes after anything on Roblox. Every number has an ID. I mean, everything on Roblox has an ID a place, an object, a shirt, etc. In this case, we're going to use a sound ID. In order to find a sign, <laughs> I mean find a sound ID, is you're going to want to go and type in on Google sound ID for Roblox. And what you will get is this giant form sheet right here. And it's called the sound ID list. Now don't worry about this right here, the link. What you're really going to want to focus on is the number at the end that's what's going to tell you what to put inside the sound ID box so if this is really great for making videos because say if you want to walk inside of a building and some let someone hit an invisible trigger and all of a sudden you'll hear a glass break or something like that 
so it's really great for making videos and Domino Dill right here has a bunch of IDs that he, he has found over the links and you just want to find the numbers on the um, end of every link so we're just gonna keep going down actions nature magic melee they have a they have one um, sounds for anything so now we're gonna hit the music section now you don't have to do music you can do any kind you want just remember you just have to put this number so one of the ones that I'm aware of with is called fight bumblebee and it may sound a little bit weird and this is because all the songs used on Roblox have to have approval from Roblox himself and the songs really never change so the ID number is 2769 so we're just gonna go to sound ID 2769 then the next number is 7719 now if we hit the switch as you can see the music has changed but it seems a little bit slow so if you want to increase the um, how fast it goes you're going to want to hit it again and I've tested this out before you just want to put in two if you're using bumblebee because it makes the song go faster so now if we try it you see a change but if you do too much pitch it's going to go too fast so now if we go to three it's gone even faster and the maximum number that you can put is 10 so 10 is very fast so you may want to turn down your speakers just a little bit just in case this is too loud and as you can see it goes really fast so that's the great part about the speaker so if you're just looking to play music inside your bass or whatever it is, you want to go with the music player. But if you want to get advanced and play custom songs that you like but that Roblox has approved, you're going to want to go with the speaker. And yeah, so this is basically how sound works on Roblox. You have, the, the songs have to be approved by Roblox and only they can upload them. And if you're wondering how the guy named Domino Bill I mean, what was his name? What was his name? Let's see. Domino Dill. Yeah, that was right. So, um, yeah. So, basically, where he got them was, he went to the catalog. So, if you want to find them yourself and say he didn't have one listed in there, and I'm pretty sure he does, but say if you if you know he like, doesn't have one or you can't find it, then what you're going to want to do is you want to go down to the catalog, scroll down to the audio section, and right here, all the audio that you can find so say if you want um, a video to say a kid saying ouch I don't know why you're just gonna hit it and what you're gonna wanna do is as you can see up here here's the number one two 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 zero five eight is the number you can take the model or you can just take the ID number of it and plug it in which is more easier so I hope you liked this video, I hope it helped you with sound on Roblox, and um, more tutorials will be coming today, or tomorrow. Thank you for watching.